Hey all, I'm Alex with Saw Mesa, Georgia. Back at the farm today because tornadoes came through our county and did some serious damage around here. Not as much to our farm. I have a little footage of that I'll show. Uh, but my cousin got it pretty bad. Probably 100, 150 trees at least came down. Um, I've only seen a section here that's pretty bad. But uh, his family and friends, all of us came around and just helped clearing it up. I'm covered in sawdust, that's why I keep wiping myself. I think it's bugs and I realize it's sawdust. So, <laughs> uh, I'll show you some of the footage. It's a long day. and everybody's already been through here to clean it up a lot. This whole road was closed off. Oh my God. That, that, oh, the trees, so many trees down in there. And that's the worst of it up here. It looks like it's starting to get a little bit better. And I'm about uh, a tenth of a mile from our house. There's llamas down everywhere just got down to the farm that was the road coming in I just showed but everything is down here is off the fences that I've seen so far I'm gonna walk all the lines drop the lines where I can but that tree right next to the corn crib right here um, and it look how close that was uh, I did hit it a little bit we can fix that it's gonna be a busy day just a little limb here that came off this pecan tree it's not bad again, not hitting the fence. That's the most important thing. Keep the cows safe. So I'll get back there and look some more. The good news is I found the cows. Looks like they're all in here. It looks like it might be the first time they got up here because they just found that tree that was down. And for some reason they wanted to eat leaves. Now I'm gonna go drive the rest of the fences. There's one. I'm just shooting all this from inside my car. That's just on an interior fence, so that can be a low priority to fix. Just snapped it. Big cedar just snapped it in two. Mm. There's just too much to cover to get out and get the gimbal set up and all that. So this is just over the bridge. The bridge held up. And this tree's down. I drive back over this is the bridge I just drove over I was worried it was gonna get washed out more wind than rain maybe but then this tree or a couple of trees or limbs whatever it is fell pretty much across my path here that'll be easy enough to move some of that I'm not getting the chainsaw out now I need to go help some other family after I make sure the cows are safe but I can clear a path better I'm in the bottoms now, and it must have touched down right in here because there's a few. Holy cow, I just saw that one. Big tree fell across the creek over there, got ripped. This one here just got pushed over with like nothing. That was already on the ground over here, that tree. Um, and I can see one up over here. I'll go up there in a minute. Oh, there's two of them here. Yeah, it must have just scooted right through here. Again, sorry, it's gonna be bumpy, but I'm not taking the time to get the gimbal out. So two more down here, that big root there. This massive root ball, look at that. Oh my goodness, that's huge. There's no way we're even gonna mess with that. It doesn't do any harm right there. That's a big one. Oh man, the creek is really high. I'm standing is right next to the electrical fence. That's where we put it in, right over here. And then swinging one, two posts away. That's where it fell off. And I just propped these limbs over it because I don't have extra bar bar with me. I realized that was in the other truck. But I have these sticks up here at least to give a visual barrier. I'm gonna try to find some more and just pile some more stuff in here. It's a cedar, so I'm fine with that coming down, which is more to clean up. Man, that's another big one over there. Oh, 
like how again that's that's not even a fence line that's just gonna be something to tear to clean up but it's not a big deal whoops now i'm spinning my tires hmm i didn't plan for that all right back in action nope yes so wet out here now this is we just planted all the seed up on this hill which i might put this video out first come on got city tires on here and they're half bald so this is the fence line though i want to make sure it's clean so far so good so i'm just gonna keep driving it that's another angle of the trail showing from another direction it's in the middle of the pasture so it doesn't matter but it's a big one i walked out on these two big limbs got taken down they were right here right up there and look how close they were to the fence line but there's a big one down here i'm going to see small one there is okay that was a dead one that went too heavy by the time it got to the fence but that one looks like it really messed us up this one i was just pointing at from the top up there fell from our property right across the neighbor's property down here uh, my chainsaw can get through that but i can put the electric fence back up and keep the cows from coming down here so i can deal with this another day or another time i'm gonna go finish getting the line on the important parts but that's gonna that one's that's fixable it's the road i came up earlier this is just from a different direction now they're doing a bang up job of clearing stuff might even get power up today that'd be amazing i'm over at my cousin's now and it came our property borders up there but it swept right through we don't have cows that's our hay field back here but it went right through his property missed his house All these trees in here uprooted pretty bad. And I mean, it's just, it's just grazing area in here and it's not on the fence line, so it'll be fine. But that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trees just that I can see pretty much just in this shot. This chimney was our the house already taken her out down from this chimney. So that could have gone over here, some of the sheds just destroyed. Still at my cousin's property and he's got a crew over here. He's so well liked and known in this area. My dad and I are over here. His son and son-in-law are here. Some cousins are here. Everybody got the tractors and bobcats and grapples and everything. So I'm diving into it now with them. My dad and I have our chainsaws too. So. It is something awful, but their house was missed. They have probably 40 or 50 trees down. Oh wow. I'm not going to be able to catch this. This whole fence line back here, that's our property going up there on the other side. We can't get to it now. From this side. They cleared a path. County did it looks like for the road and then we just have a bunch of friends and neighbors and family helping out but all this this is the fence line here all of this it's covered and so here they cleared enough to have one lane look at all that just total annihilation yeah i see it somewhere in here there's a gate this big pasture up here. Not pasture, but it's our, where we grow our hay. I think it might be right in here, but I can't. No. Can't even see. I'm 
think he had any chickens in there anymore. Definitely not now. Look at this one. He said, uh, we're done there. I cut you off right here like a, like a toothpick. Their house is fine, all their pool chairs are up there, all fine. It's kind of windy out here. Feels good now that I'm in the shade too. Look at that though. And we're just chopping it off in eight or ten foot sections where we can. And he has, uh, my cousin has a grapple on his bobcat. He can come and put, they put some piles out here. I don't know if you can see that down in there out in the field they'll have some burns they're gonna have a whole bunch of, of burns they bonfires we're getting through it it's kind of quiet now but he's on break look at that lean-to that's where we keep our tractors and just shingles are just ripped off of that and keep in mind this whole area in here is or when I'm filming this is way after the cleanup started. This was probably three in the afternoon by this point and they had started working probably at 6 a.m. I got there maybe 1230-ish, something like that. And we wanted to get the main part cleared out anywhere you can see the kind of the dirt road in there, the, the more of the reddish color. That was my cousin's path to his barns where he wants to get the tractors out or he has feed or he has something in there. And you can see his fences are all fine in here, which is crucial. But then these trees, just everywhere you turn, there are more and more trees. And that road, it's a single track road now, with the, the way it was cleared out. Uh, and this, on the top part of the screen here, uh, that's our field that I was referencing before, the hay field. So we have to wait and see if the county clears that line or, or how that's gonna work. So that's where the gate was that I was looking for earlier from the roadside. I couldn't find it. I still, I couldn't find it anywhere from that side. But from this side, I can kind of see where it was. And that whole fence line is just gone now. And it doesn't really matter because we don't have cows up there, but we do need to have the fence up there um, just in case we do put the cows in there occasionally. And this is just from the field's view. You can see all those massive uh, dirt ball or, um, root balls in there and they just everything that was at any height was pushed over now I'm just gonna swing back over to my cousin's property you can see in his pasture all the big trees that are taken down out there and those are that's just in the middle of the field it doesn't really matter except it's just clean up and if they end up laying down there then invasive cedars and everything else will start going up and it just takes up grazing pasture too so we need to get those moved This is just a better look at these trees that I was just talking about in the pasture here. And you can see how big they are and how they just got ripped. Uh, and then coming back over, this is kind of where I started on some of this. Uh, this uh, lean-to here is where the shingles are missing, where we had the tractor in there. Our tractors, our tractor and his tractors. You can see that's a better angle how the shingles are just ripped off of it. And then this whole area in here, all this, uh, road area in here, the, especially the part that's really red, was just completely covered. Even when I got there at 1230, it was, you couldn't see through it at all. It was so thick. But this, uh, this barn here, it's got uh, shingles messed up. So he's, some of those he might be able to bend back down, but he's gonna have to get some new ones and put in there. All this fence line is good here, which is the, really the most important part. And this barn here though is his nice, fairly new barn. Uh, he has some wedding receptions in there, and his, uh, including his, his younger daughter got married and had hers there, which is really nice. And look at this tree. Oh, and there's the uh, little uh, hen house that he had, chicken coop, in their house up there. All right, now I'm just I'm leaving their house. I wanted to ride up the road and see some of the damage that was done farther away from his house because it looked like the path came through there uh, almost directly, like I said, at his house. New telephone pole they got in there. The house is 
a bunch of shingles. All day there was just a constant hum all over the county of chainsaws going and tractors running and carrying stuff. That house got it pretty bad. Um, and I don't quite get the angle here because I was trying to drive and you can see I was actually squeezing past some of the utility uh, company trucks here. And this is coming right back towards this house. So you can see from this angle, just the road that I showed a couple times already and how narrow of a path it is through here. But they did a good job of clearing it at least. It was by uh, volunteer firefighters from uh, Butler, Georgia. Enough to, to let traffic move. It's devastating though, how, much, how many trees fell. This is a few hours later, where I drove through earlier. We've got it pretty good and cleaned up as far as the, the trees across the road. All the yards are still filled with debris. Trees snapped off right there. All trash just all over the place over here. Somebody trash can thrown over there. More trees. over here to my left that's not far from where we just were at my cousin's house all those trees are looking okay the house got it pretty bad the house didn't but the yard did i think this is the worst on our property we got this old corn crib, which we just have some little things in there. It's more sentimental than anything. Hit that. Going down through here, but no real damage. That's not going to be a big pain to, to cut. This part will be. And then that means this whole tree's coming down soon. Because there's no way it's going to live with that damage to it. That's what we have. If that's the worst we get. It's hard to be upset about that. We just cut down this tree here. That big limb split off that I showed earlier. My dad and I have been cutting through it. We stopped to refill our chainsaws and get something to drink. And the cows said they'd take care of it for us. They said we, we could just stop for the day. They'll just go ahead and clean up the rest of it. They are eating everything in here. And every, every time one's missing, they'll, they'll come running over like, oh, I didn't see this. Well, we finished up our work here. I'm heading back to Atlanta. I'm exhausted, but we got a lot of good work done. So thanks for watching, y'all.